midday with Anthony Bernay. The Justice Minister has been briefing the Cabinet on the situation following the row over the granting of citizenship to a Middle East couple. They had invested more than a million pounds in the Reynolds family's pet food business. Mr. Reynolds and Mr. Spring considered the controversy ahead of this morning's Cabinet meeting. Last night, Dick Spring said the circumstances seemed at one with the categories in the citizenship scheme accepted by all parties in the government since 1986. The Communication Workers Union says that it's hopeful for a speedy resolution to the disputed on post, which led to 300,000 letters not being delivered this morning. A spokesman for the union said that he hoped the 350 workers involved in the unofficial industrial action at the Dublin Mail Centre would be back working their normal rosters by this evening. The workers had implemented their own shift and duty arrangements yesterday morning. An army officer serving with the UN force in Rwanda has been killed in a mortar bomb explosion. The blast happened just inside the government-held part of the capital, Kigali. The UN team has left the city to investigate reports that 500 people were killed in a massacre in the town of Camp Gaia. The woman cyclist who died after being struck by a car in Dublin early this morning was 30-year-old Clodagh Lee from Corrine in County Waterford. Gardaí had appealed for witnesses to the accident at Whitehall Road East in Terramuir at around 1 o'clock. Gardaí are investigating a report that the car involved in the collision had been stolen. The weather forecast now are mostly dry for the rest of the day with afternoon temperatures ranging 15 to 19 Celsius. Coolest along exposed coasts, continuing rather cloudy in the north, good brighter sunny spells elsewhere. That's the news for the moment. More on Radio Plain and Simple at 1. Thank you. 
artists like Gary Moore, Brian May, and Alice Cooper. You take 100 tracks from the 100 best albums of all time and you cram them all on one CD set. It's called Rock, but it's only available from Sounds Direct by Post, so get a pen ready. This six CD on cassette set has over six hours worth of original tracks to get your copy called now. Rock from Sounds Direct, sounds you can't afford to miss. It's our 15th birthday we had guest, and we're going to do just a minute quiz. And we have on the line uh, from Kassenbach, we have uh, Micheline Egan. Is that right? Hi, Larry. How are you? I'm very well indeed. You were 15, I believe, uh, the, 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 the day that uh, Tour Fan started. That's why I read you two as it was then. Yeah, I was 15 years of age, and I'm going to the Convent of No Mercy in Canterbury. <laughs> and I remember distinctly um, racing home at lunchtime because it was sacrilegious to turn from Radio 1 at that time to this great new. Um, what was it called now? I mean, I know... Yeah, it was called RTE Radio 2. 2, and now it's Coming at you. Coming at you. Yeah. And I remember um, we were all having lunch and uh, getting to listen to the station was just brilliant. Mm -hmm. And it was also very significant because prior to that, um, Radio Luxembourg was like the only music station we would have listened to. So you've got plenty of music anyway. We've been bringing you plenty of music for the last 15 years. Uh, you've, got to, you've got to do a little adjustment of quiz with us. And it, it's the questions about the last 15 years. Is that all right? Right. <laughs>
and of course we wore the suit during the, uh, during the daytime. <laughs> Red News and Address too, I suppose. Exactly. In fact, in fact I remember correctly, uh, we, we were working uh, as the equity shop stewards at the time, so the day before, right, yeah. Yeah, right. we were negotiating rates for DJs, and the station didn't nearly open. <laughs> and it didn't nearly open because two of the first guys <laughs> were saying, no, you can't. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's strange. Yeah. We were up the midnight, I think, actually, yeah. negotiating yeah. rates. Yeah. I remember that. I've only the dimmest memories of the opening day was coming out for the champagne mm -hmm. the rest of the time. But uh, I do I do think uh, really to really come into its own, say the mid eighties really it, I think it was a sort of a dour place my memory was mm -hmm. you know, yeah. Yes you are, yeah. They didn't think that's a bit similar. Yeah. 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 Some people went around for hours, not at all. Not at all. I was looking yeah. through I was I am the original colour, you know, just the original yeah. flower. Yeah. Yeah. The original yeah. uh, radio two colour. Yeah. Uh, as you see coming up short. I was looking for the old footage here on, on the uh, the open day, there's the group shots of the, the first program. Champagne launching radio two's take off. We also have uh, this is a curious one. Here it says 1976 actors and presenters seeking a second RTE radio channel. Mm -hmm. And it goes on to say that uh, Morris Adonji, the equity president of Call the minister, proposed that Ralph Carl Cruz O'Brien just gave a second pop music service. And let's jump ahead, this is the juxtaposition of this, right. up to 79, Radio 2 is airborne, O'Brien quits. <laughs> <laughs> <That's a bit laughs> you rest your case. I rest my case. So we've assembled some of the footage of the opening day on the party, the press conference, a few faces that take you back uh, 15 years. So really done with it. So you? Let's get going. All right then, let's have a look at this then, and let's listen to it already. This is how it all began. Resources, our knowledge, our, our, our professionalism. Uh, well, 
producer uh, of uh, the program, indeed, uh, in those days, the producer of this lunchtime program, was now the head of music in or she is Scott McKay. Let's see if um, Did you see the, the pictures of Studio One of the Park? I did indeed. Well, that's the first one I've ever seen. We right there. Because we were, there, we were in here in the studio, and do you remember we actually had to lock the door? Because there were drunken top executives at RT1, remember that? And we had to keep them out, so that was the first time that I saw it. And they came out of the car, yes, right, and, the, yeah, right. Right. and he killed off, walked off the center of the room with this, and he yeah. handed you this, and then turned around yeah. and yeah. said the word excuse. The word, the very first time. I was like, I was, yeah, I was really upset. Yeah. Yeah. That was a big time. Because I've never worked with you before. before. Yeah. You know, although we had been in the business. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, I remember, I was 24, you were 23 when it started. So you can work on what age you are now. I also have right. always wanted to kill somebody on television. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I will make the, the incision. Oh, it's a lovely cake. It is a lovely cake. I haven't done this since I was married. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. 
So we're going to try, we're going to try that home number then for three to rise. Oh, why are you talking about the way? Maybe Janet didn't get the same. Oh, no, 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 no,